supreme lord eternal truth let us obey thee alone and live according to truth paramo cha prabhu satyam nitya tvameva kevalam anubhartha mahe satyam anujivam kevalam shanti 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 good morning welcome everyone today we are going to discuss the most interesting topic that is five dreams of sri aurobindo sri aurobindo's five dreams very interesting we all as we know we all see dreams during our unconscious state or our in our conscious state sometimes also we daydream sometimes we get vision but uh, here what we are going to di- going to discuss today almost a quarter an hour discussion a point to point discussion on sri aurobindo's five dreams <clears throat> it is almost related to the future and the destiny so we can go back to the independence day same day on 15th august 1947 <clears throat> this was the message given it is actually very, very much heart touching heart stirring and charged with the word of destiny about discussing the fate sri aurobindo speaks of the fate thy goal the road thou chose to just are thy fate destiny he can accept it he can refuse but thing is destiny is fixed we have to go although the goal seems to be same but the path is different we have got not only one path more than one path but destiny has to be achieved on 15th august 1947 it was you i used to know the birthday of india but initially if you can go little bit little behind this is sri aurobindo's birthday india's independence came on the sri aurobindo's birthday it marks for her the end of old era for india the beginning of new era recently we have celebrated our republic day but we can also make it by our life and acts a free nation and an important date in the new age opening opening of the new age that is going to open shortly in the whole world in the destiny of the mankind for the political social cultural in the spiritual humanity just we have we will have a grasp on that message then we'll go for his dreams on 15th august on 15th august is my own birthday and it is naturally gratifying to me that it should have been assumed this vast significance on his birthday freedom of india or birth of the new india comes a liberated india liberation from the long 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 bondage <coughs> in um, indeed on this day i can watch almost all the world movements which i had hoped to see this was his dream since long even if he was when he was in the during his tenure of this freedom film struggle freedom movement and maybe before while he was continuing his study and all in england that's why that time also he hoped he said still in the speaks of i had hoped to see fulfilled in my lifetime and it is done though then they looked like impractical impracticable dreams dreams that that time it so him seemed not practicable impracticable arriving at the fruition or on their way to achievement it was all seemed to be impossible not at all possible in all these movements free india may will have may well play a large part and take a leading portion it is not this freedom it is not confined to india india as we know the land of sri aurobindo the protected india india is actually leading the destiny of the world it has to become it is destined to be the spiritual of the guru of the world to be the leader of the world east will rise with the arrival of the um, um, beloved india revered india who is also waiting for the significance growth of india and significant rise of india that is destined in the divine calendar a date is fixed in the calendar of the unknown the anniversary of the birth sublime at present right now <coughs> 
we are going to have a discussion what is that five dreams and how it is on the way to fulfillment stay up in the course his first dream of these dreams five he had five dreams in his own vision the great seer mahayogi had a great vision he had the five dreams not only day dreams are in the unconscious or conscious this was very much super conscious stage he had five dreams for india and world and the mankind as a whole the first of these dreams was a revolutionary movement which would create a free and united india revolutionary movement he says there was simultaneously two movements were going on one is actually violence in this that's violent manner in non violent manner stir in the speaks of that the revolutionary movement which would create a free and a free, free and united india that has happened 1947 we can listen we have already listened the message and all india today is free stir in the speaks of India today is free, free from the bondage, free from the bondage that uh, that from the um, rule of the British British people. India is free. She has not achieved unity, got the freedom, but not achieved the unity. The old communal division up to the, into the Hindu and Muslims seem now to be have hardened into a. permanent political division of the country as we know india and pakistan it got divided just one night before just before night on 14th um, august india and pakistan got actually divided and this um, india and pakistan sir in the fields in my birthday i got the gift but in two packets one is india and another is pakistan but later he clarifies why is i i don't see the existence of pakistan what pakistan stood for india will be reunited if we are can be able to go and to refer the spiritual map of india entire world of india you will see the neighboring countries that they will be get united and this position this situation has come to up for they come to our front front <clears throat> if it lasts that political division India may be seriously weakened because Pakistan will be separated from India. Even crippled, that will be crippled because the main main mission, the united India, India and Pakistan for the time being, she speaks up. If she speaks up, then later this Bangladesh, Myanmar, this will come to the uh, union. Civil strife may also remain possible. That is the possible of civil strife. Possible even the new invasion and foreign conquest. One more, once more, also there is a possible possibility of foreign conquest and a new invasion. India's eternal internal development and the prosperity may be impeded. Sri Aurobindo speaks. It, this division he was not in favor. There he calculated, he predicted whatever is going right happening right now. This Santrasabadi terrorism, this division, this line of control, and also simultaneously this life of line of control. These people, outer people like China and all, they are coming into the to interfere in the matter of India and Pakistan. It is happening. Happening that he had a dream and a vision in the, in the on the Independence Day speech. We can see the message. We can see. her destiny impaired this must not be it should not be this must not be the partition must go india must and will be achieved for it is necessary for the greatness of india's future he predicts we are not its independent just a freedom we have got from the british rule that is not true india india's true freedom is actually this is has been initial for moment um, head is actually hit in hong got hot um, hit at the wall we know initially while entering the house india and pakistan have been separated if this division is continuing there will be impaired other people will come now itself the situation is changing you can know in for the um, provinces of pakistan there is actually, there is scam revolt government they are democracy in trouble military people they are taking over now itself there is a baluchistan this occupied kashmir sindh pradesh they are actually united they are trying india is better they are also favoring our prime minister and they are also trying to break it or in any anyway, way to mix with india that has got to have happened second dream another dream was the resurgence resurgence and the liberation of the people of asia not in india after india he speaks of the asian he 
her return to the great role in the progression of human civilization. See, Asia has to get up and actually in the take greater part in the human civilization's progress. This there, India has a part to play, major part to play rather, and begin to play with the energy and ability, and uh, already indicate the measures of her possibilities and the place she can take in the Council of Nations. Now itself, uh, everybody is demanding for the reorganization of United UNO, and uh, now itself people are see all are now coming back to India, Corona or any other help. They are going away from the world, West and China. They are coming to the India. Now itself, we are going for the third dream, a world union. United UNO, you know, it has been formed. The third dream was world union forming the outer basis of fairer, brighter and noble life for mankind. It is done, but actually it is not that much active. So now no unipolar country, society is there, multipolar country. There is difference of opinion, difference of interest, there is ego. So it is not proper, performing right now properly, but it has to come. There is a proposal for the reorganization of this UNO that is world union this unification of the human world is underway here too india has begun to play a prominent role everybody now corona or whatever this vaccination they are coming and this india's role in peacekeeping that is appreciated everybody is appreciating a new spirit of oneness will take the hold of the human race we are going to discuss the fourth team is the spiritual gift of the india of india to the world has already begun 21st June also, that yoga day, we see people are appreciating, they are coming, the India's position, spiritual gift of India is appreciated. Amid the disasters of the time, more and more eyes are turning towards the hope and increasing research not only in her teaching but also the psychic and spiritual practice. People are coming, they are appreciating, they are expressing, they are actually satisfied with the Indian spiritual progress. The final dream was a step of evolution which would raise man to the higher and the larger consciousness. This man will be elevated as man is elevated from man, monkey. So like this, one greater being has to come, his destination is fixed, he has to rise from this man that is known as superman. So Sri Aurobindo speaks of mind is man and supermind is superman. So this evolution since it must proceed through the growth of the spirit, with the growth of the spirit, this type of generation evolution will come. And this evolutionary process is actually, it is in the progress. Now initially it was in an unconscious way or concealed way. Now it is too fast. Evolution is now got a stronger impetus. It is moving wholeheartedly to a new generation, to a new, new step. The central moment may be hers. Only with this evolution, evolutionary process, the growth of consciousness, the arrival of descent of a new man, it will be possible. And the Sri Aurobindo also speaks and speaks, speaks, sees and speaks. I saw the omnipotent flaming pioneers. I saw them cross the twilight of an age. About this new people in evolution, Sri Aurobindo speaks of when the superman is born as the nature's king, his presence shall transfigure the matter's world. When they are coming, they are sun-eyed children of a marvelous dawn, great creators wise with wide brows of calm. So the, again, describing them, this man, as man with, with respect to monkey, like this superman will be with respect to this man. So we have to grow in consciousness, spiritual progress will be there, we have to go to a new level, new path, new stable, that new path that is destined and it has to happen. Such is the content which I put into this date of India's devotion. Then he can descri describe the voice of Krishna in the jail, what he heard. I am rising, I am raising up to up this nation to send forth my word. It is for the world that they arise. I am giving them freedom for the service of the world. So we have to see, we have to take faith, we have to endeavor, we have to make progress, we have to achieve it, we have to fulfill his dream. That is the final. A new born, world is born, a new race is born. Thank you. Bande Matram.